Hey, Jeremy Halbeck again. Uh, this video we're gonna go over painting wood cabinets, right? So, you saw in the earlier laundry room demo uh, video, I already took the drawers off, or sorry, the doors. Now I'll just remove the screws for all the hardware, and I'm gonna prep this today. Uh, so, so really I just looked everything over. Uh, I have a couple things I need to fix. Uh, so there's a couple finishing nails here that came out the side. Um, I'm just gonna cut those out. Um, and then I'm gonna start sanding. I have a, I have a lot of the 18 uh, volt one plus Ryobi stuff from Home Depot. All the batteries are interchangeable. So I'm gonna use those. Um, and then I have my uh, brand nailer because some of these trim pieces are loose. Um, so, this one's not too bad, oh, the top's a little loose. Put a couple brad nails in it real quick, actually I can do that right now. Tight, not going anywhere. Um, so I'll do the other side. I'll do that off camera. Um, I would use like some snips to cut these um, cleanly, but I don't know where they're at because a lot of my tools are still packed up in boxes in the garage. I'm just gonna use my angle grinder and cut those little nails off, hammer them flat, um, and then I'll get into sanding. I'm just gonna use like a 220 grit pad, pretty smooth pad, same one I was using on the drywall. I'll clean some of this debris off first. And then I'm like, I don't need to, so when sanding cabinets, you don't have to sand all the way through like the varnish or the polyurethane coating on the stain. Um, you just need to scuff it up so the uh, bonding primer has something to stick to, right? All right, so I finished with the uh, Roby Palm Sander. Um, originally, I planned to paint the inside of the cabinets like I was talking about, but they actually cleaned up pretty decent. All right, they're still dirty. Like I still need to uh, get all this sanding debris out and clean them up. Um, but yeah, I don't think I will paint the inside of the cabinets. So they cleaned up pretty nice, but. All I have left now, so the palm worked really well. Again, I'm not trying to remove all the finish. I'm just roughing it up for the primer. All right. Um, I have to go get some regular sandpaper and do the trim and this uh, detailed spot. But all the flat edges, I still have to do this rounded edge. And I'm gonna do that with just regular old sandpaper by hand. So knock that out. And then we'll be ready for cleanup and primer. Painting is 100% complete. Um, like I said, I hand sanded the uh, details in small areas. Um, and then I used a wet rag to clean all the dust up. So we are ready to prime. <clears throat> Here's the primer I'm using. So I normally use Kills brand. Um, I got, they were actually out when I went to Home Depot. Um, and I didn't have any more bonding primer, but for this kind of cabinet work, um, you want an oil-based bonding primer. Um. So I just did that one little section. Um, so we talk a little bit about the technique. So again, uh, bonding primer, you're not looking for full coverage, cover all the wood, right? So this is perfect. So I'm not covering, uh, painting the sides. So I just filled in the front and then went with the grain. So the, the grain in these columns runs up and down, the bottoms and tops run side to side, right? So at the end of my finished strokes, I'm gonna go with the grain 
and this isn't painting this is just priming I don't need a hundred percent coverage of the wood so don't be afraid if you can still see some of your wood through the primer it's perfectly fine and here's a shot of that nocturne blue what it's going to look like All right, let's go ahead and get this first coat on. All right, so here's the technique I'm gonna use to get these corners. Um, just a little bit of paint on the paintbrush and kind of thick card. I just have a magazine cover. Um, what I'm gonna do is cover the wall with it as I get up to the edge and that's pretty much it. Save me a little time over, you know, having to tape it all up and then rip the tape off. So we'll see how that goes. And then you can see I did the edges. I uh, did goon them up a little bit. Got some on the wall. I would just take a wet rag and wipe that off. But since I'm painting the wall still, I just spread it out to thin it. So then the wall color will easily cover that over when I do that part. So. And then th I want this paint to be fully dry before I do the walls. Um, that way if I get some of the wall paint on it, I will take a wet rag and wash that off. So, yeah, next time you'll see it, it'll have the second coat. So while this is drying, I'm actually going to start on the doors. Uh, so the cabinet doors are removed. I still have to sand. Um, I'll be able to probably sand and prime them. And then while those are drying, come back, this should be drying. Uh, put on the second coat. It's a little shot of the cabinet doors. So since they're removable, I did the same thing. Lightly sanded them with the palm sander and hand sand paper. Cleaned them off, wiped all the dust off with a degreaser. Um, and then since they were dry from wiping off, already primed the back side once the back side's dry flop them over prime the other side once that's done ready for two coats of get out of here fly two coats of paint as well all right so a little of the process of painting the cabinet so painted the backs first right all I did was I brushed in the crevice and then I rolled the flat parts did three coats on each on the back um, I'm just doing them outside. Well, actually, I'm doing them in my sunroom to stay away from the wind and the, any dirt. And then I'm just letting them dry outside. Um, so, about to start on the front. So, I'm just using a brush. And I got a little mini roller, 3 8 snap roller. And I'll do the same for the fronts. I'm going to brush in the crevices. And then I'll roll all the flat parts. And we'll get these cabinet drawers done. All right, back in the sunroom, uh, the cabinet doors are fully dry. So uh, I ended up doing three coats of paint. Came out really nice. Could have got away with two for rolling, uh, but all the cracks took three. So just did a solid three of hand painting and rolling. And now I'm just going to put the hardware back on. Um, you can get new hardware. You can, um, you know, paint it. In this case, we just cleaned it up. It's like an antique brass look. Um, I actually like the aged antique brass look. So all we do is clean them. We're gonna use the old hardware. And then I was gonna update the these knobs. They're like porcelain, really old knobs. I didn't wanna mess with sanding and painting these though. So I just picked up some new pulls from the hardware store. So I'll go ahead and get this hardware put on and then get the Doors reinstalled in the laundry room.
Cabinets are done. So here's the finished product. Here are the poles. So we, you know, modernize the cabinets, but I like that I got to reuse the old uh, hardware with this, you know, age brass look. I think that gives it a nice look and it matches nice with the new light brass goldish knobs we picked up. So there, painting cabinets are done. Um, if you like, then uh, want to see more, subscribe to the channel and follow along with the rest of this laundry room makeover. Thanks for watching. Bye.